Exodus 9 and 13 says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus said the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. And I'm going to continue on sharing some um, brief insight regarding my spiritual beliefs. I am a Hebrew Israelite from the seed of Abraham, and my lineage can be traced back to the tribe of Judah. Okay? Now, I want to continue on sharing what is a prophet. First of all, the prophets came out of the Hebrews, okay, or out of the seed of Abraham. Those are his people, okay? We are his people today, the people that scattered by the four corners of the earth. And whenever the Lord or the Most High would use a prophet, he will always use and pick them from the Hebrews, see? They will always come out of that lineage. And he would always tell them to rise up early. If you go back and start reading the prophets, a lot of them rise up early in the morning and went to the nation of Israel or the Hebrews. And he gave them a message. In Moses' case, he told him what to say. He said, uh, thus said the Lord God of the Hebrews, let my people go that they may serve me. So there you have it. You're going to always be able to discern a prophet only if they came out of the lineage of the Hebrews, okay? And real prophets will always come in the real Hebrew name. So that's very important in this modern day society to discern, to discern if that is a true prophet. They will always come out of the seed of Abraham and they're going to come in the name of the Lord. They're not going to come in the titles like Lord and God. Those are just titles to refer to the Most High. Because if you know anything about history, the Roman Catholic Church edited the names, the Hebrew names out to keep the offspring of those people, which would be us African Americans, from acknowledging it. So there's nothing but a lot of confusion amongst our people today when it comes to the real biblical names of the Most High. So he has a lot of names when it comes to um, our the Hebrews in this modern day society. So be on guard when it comes to a real prophet and when it comes to a false prophet. A real prophet would always rise up early in the morning as the former prophets did in the Old Testament and they will always have a message thus saith the Lord or thus saith, not, not Lord, excuse me that's the title, but thus saith Ahiah, that's the name that I chose and I believe that that is the accurate name for the Most High and I know there's other names to refer to him but I'm going to use and acknowledge the name that I believe that his name for this generation for the people who are still seeking after him and they will always come and represent the Hebrews see he said thus said the Lord God the Lord God of the Hebrews see they will always acknowledge the people which are Hebrews Abraham seed so there you have it. you have to be very careful how you discern scriptures because in the Old Testament the Most High was only was only talking to the nation of Israel he wasn't talking to the other nations in the Old Testament that were around Israel. He was only talking to them. And when he uh, picked a person out of the Hebrews, he will always send that person right back to the Hebrews, just like Moses. He sent Moses right back to Pharaoh. Moses was raised as an Egyptian, if you know the story of Moses. But he soon learned later that he was a Hebrew. And when he had an encounter with the Most High, he was commanded to go right back to Egypt and to confront Pharaoh to let his people go. See, let my people go so that they may serve me, that they may serve me. Okay, so be on the lookout for a real prophet and a false prophet. How to spot them if they rise up early in the morning as the former prophets did. The message, if they have a message, in this particular case Moses said, let my people go. That was the message that the Most High told him to uh, tell Pharaoh and they will always acknowledge the real Hebrew name of the most high they won't come in a title they're not going to come in lord and god those are titles they're going to come in his real ancient hebrew name <laughs> and they're going to represent the hebrews there you have it so you won't be deceived anymore so now that you understand they rise up early in the morning as in the days of the old prophets did and they would they would have they will have a message excuse me and they're going to acknowledge the Hebrew name of the Most High. They're not going to say Lord of God, and they're going to represent the Hebrews. Shalom and all praise be to the Most High. And I hope and pray that this video gives you a biblical understanding of my heritage. Shalom.